Welcome back. Welcome back. Rock out reactions, YouTubers, and you motherfucking metalheads. I'm Paul. Guys, we are back. We This is a little long overdue, but you know, it takes time for these things. Um, we told you we would review Trivium's uh, newest album, uh, What the Dead Men Say. Uh, uh, this came out what, about two months, three months came back a little bit ago, but we have been listening to it nonstop all the time, and we are ready to give you the review of our Trivium, What the Dead Men Say, latest album. Now, for this album, you know, um, anyways, this album, we're going to tell you all about it. Let's go. So for this album, guys, I'm going to let Zachary start off first. And uh, the Catastrophist, the first song they released and made a video for, we're going to start off with that song. Now, I've heard wrong, but this is that song that, uh, it was uh, slow, right? Then it had a chorus, then it had like the streaming. It yeah. Like, it was that one that like, old place too, wasn't it? Yeah, remember it was the first single they made. Yeah. He was in the woods and shit. Now, this song was all over the place in a lot of parts. Overall, still a great song. You know, it had a good chorus. Verses. Verses are fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was a good song. Yes, what he said. The Catastrophist. I thought the verses were really good. The chorus was good. It was all over the place, like he says. With the, I mean, you had like, you know, when it starts off, it builds up and it's a lot of clean vocals and then it goes into like this breakdown with like a lot of harsh vocals and just a lot of screaming then it goes into solos then it goes back and forth but regardless of the song being all over the place it was still really great i like it. as i said i love the chorus the verses the guitars the breakdowns everything about the song was really good so this song was not one of our main favorites but it was a really good one off the album Okay, now for our second song on the album, Amongst the Shadows and the Stones. Uh, this, uh, Like I said, we're not really going in order here with this album review. We're just going by different songs. But So this is the second song. What's your thoughts? Personally, I didn't care for this one. It was, I don't know. It was the verses I didn't really like. I didn't really care for this chorus. Overall, oh, it's a song. I didn't pass. I had to listen to it came on, but that's not what we want to listen to. Yeah, uh, what he said, uh, Amongst the Shadows and the Stones, my problem with this song, like, like in the part you just heard, yeah. it sounds decent in the one verse, but then it goes into this, blah, just all the screaming, and then the chorus is just a bunch of uh, rambling and rambling on screaming like this, and that just ruins the song. For, to me, this is the worst song on this album, and it should have been erased or replaced with actually way better song. But, you know, it is what it is. But as far as Amongst the Shadows and the Stones, very horrible, and did not enjoy it at all. So this was definitely a pass. Now for our third song, Sickness Unto You. Uh, this was definitely one of the better ones. This one was really good. It's not my top three favorites, but it's definitely in the top five. Sickness Unto You was really good. I like the verses. I like the chorus a lot. I just like everything about this song. It definitely delivered. It was a, it was one of our good ones. So that's two ones now that I've liked out three and one bad one. So two versus one. And what's your thoughts on Sickness Unto You? I didn't know. The verses weren't too bad, the chorus was good, the guitars are definitely great. Mm -hmm. It's a little slow, but it picks up, definitely. Oh, well, it's a good song. Not the best song, but definitely a good one. So Where's it in your top at? Like top five, your top three? Probably top five. I'll say top three. Definitely, and it's got those beautiful guitars right there, those yeah. melodic guitars, man. Classic Trivium guitars. Just a really good song. Now, for the fourth song, Bleed Into Me, 
their actually last single release before they dropped the album. The vi the video was, had like a it was like a video game kind of video like I Sign Kills did with Mary Axmas. So the, so yeah, so bleed into me. I'm gonna let him take over this one. This is the best song on the album. The verses were amazing. The chorus was great. The guitars, everything about this song. It's on on the album. Bleed into me, definitely not the best song on the album, like he says. But uh, honestly, not even a top three, top five for sure. That's his bad taste. I cannot put it over "Sickness in You" and a few of the other ones. It's dirty. I don't. I like the. I, it's good, but I like the chorus more on that one. But this song was really good. The video was very entertaining to watch. Uh, the verses are good. The chorus is great. It's definitely a top fiver for me. This is a really great song. Uh, a lot of good things about this one. Very much so. So, time to get into the fifth one. What the Dead Men Say. The title of the album. This was the second single release they did when this album came out. Uh, I'll let you take this one off. He I'll, really remembers when we check I'll, this out. I'll tell you. I don't like the first at all in this song. The chorus isn't bad, but it's really repetitive. He's the, what the dead men say. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's really repetitive. I don't like the verses that much. Like, overall, the guitars are great still. And it's not bad as Amongst the Shadows of the no, Stones. No, that first, that, the war song on the album. It's not that bad, but it's, it's in the okay yeah, it's category. Nothing about it. Nothing that you believe me. What the Dead Men say, it's decent, it's okay. But the chorus is a little repetitive. The verses aren't real bad. I mean, they're not too bad. I think, honestly, if the chorus would be so repetitive, this could have been a really better song, honestly. But, in all in all, it's not a bad song. It's alright. Definitely not a top five, but it's definitely not the worst song on the album, neither. So... Alright guys, so, um, that was what, five? Yeah, it was easy. So this was the sixth song off the album we're doing now. The Ones We Leave Behind. My song is off the song. Go ahead, because it's one of your favorites, so. Definitely top good for me. The course is definitely great. Verses are great. Tars and everything about the song was great. Now that's like the best song, honestly, but definitely top three for sure. One of those just ones. What he said, definitely one of the good ones. Top three? No. Top five, though. My top three, I really haven't gotten to those songs yet. But this is definitely a top five. Really great chorus, good verses, good guitars. This song just sucker to punch in you, you know? That, that kind of good song. <laughs> So, you know, just one of them sucker punch songs. For you guys that know what that means, that means, that means it hits and it delivers. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. You know. So, it hit and it delivered. A very good song, indeed. I liked it a lot. So, on to song number seven now, guys. Bending the Art to Fear. Uh, definitely the second worst song on the album. Joining Amongst the Shadows and the Stones. These two were definitely the worst songs on the album. It's just, it's like that, it's like that song. It's just a bunch of dribbling, screaming, and yelling. I mean, Matt could do better than this. I do not know why he does this, but definitely one of the most intelligent and definitely one of the most legend dudes in metal. So I just wish he would go on beyond better than this. Like I said, this definitely second worst song on the album. Didn't like nothing about it. Yeah, definitely. This song was terrible. Trade of trash. The course sucked. The verses sucked. It's hard to be decent, but like, overall, this song was trash. Was there any pros about it at all? Or just all cards? Uh, I guess pros and cards are decent, but that's about it. That's it. The song was just crap. No other way to put it. Alright, so now on to number eight, right? Yeah. No, song number eight. Um, this, Define. yeah, the Define. Now, the actually good shit. 
This was definitely my top two song. This ain't my favorite one, but it's definitely my second favorite song on the album. Sickness on You falls at three, so, and my top one, we will be getting to still. But yeah, this was definitely second best song on the album for me. The Defiant is just amazing. It delivers everything, like amazing, packed courses, good verses, great breakdowns, everything about The Defiant was just amazing. This song, definitely second best song on the album. Love the shit out of this song. Personally, this song's a top five. <coughs> that course is a top five. What what three was your top three? Bleeding to you number one. Bleeding to bleeding. I thought it was bleeding bleeding to me. No, bleeding, bleeding to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. That was the best one. But you know, overall, this song's a top five, not the top three. Yeah, I'll give you verses are doing towards this great too. Overall, it's a great song, but top five. But all in all, amazing song. Alright, time for number nine. Now before we, you guys think we're leaving out a song, we left out the intro completely. The intro was okay, but intros are just intros. They're not really, they don't honestly just don't matter. So the intro was, this is the last song on the album. And the it song, by far, the number one song. The most amazing song, Smack. Scattering the Ashes was the best, by far, pack, super punk pack song on that album. It delivers a punch, like the other one that I said. So, that's cool. that's our new saying on here. <laughs> so, yeah, man, uh, definitely a sucker puncher hit. Number one song, <laughs> <laughs> a number one song on the album, by far. Scattering the Ashes, everything was amazing. Best chorus on the album, everything. Love the shout the song, my number one song. Yes, indeed. Sky in the Ashes was amazing. Go ahead. This was this a top three for you? And I give it exactly in the dirt. Definitely not the best song. Verses are good. Verses are good. All in all, you know, it's a, just a song, I guess. Definitely not the best one, though. What else? I think that's it. They did all that song. So guys, it is time for us. We we gave we listened to this whole album fully. We've listened to it multiple times. We checked out everything about it. Now it's time to give you our review. My review, personally, only what? Honestly, like, what, there, there's only two. Well, what the dead men say was okay, but we dislike two, and the intro. So yeah. all in all, this album gets. I give it an 8.5 for me because of the two bad ones and the intro was whatever and not really enough songs. I couldn't give it a 10, but it's definitely an 8.5. It was a really great album besides a couple here and there flaws, but it's still a very enjoyable album. So what the Dead Men Say Trivium, 8.5, very good album. It is album 8 out of 10 for me. Just an 8? Just an 8. Okay, and why? Uh, like you said, no, only, there was only two bad songs. I ain't no dip I'm not going to points off for the intro. Yes. Yeah. Although it was a great album, but not like me, it's still like a great album. Where, it, where does it fit in your top trivia albums? Is it up there in the top three? It's only better than the last album. The last album was, God, dude, that album sucked. Sorry. We love trivia and all, but besides, I think I like three, he liked two. Yeah. Maybe there was like four decent at best, but this definitely had way more enjoyable sounds and tracks on it. So, yeah, guys. So, guys, that is our thoughts and our.